Okay, I'm on Code Anywhere, an editor, an online editor that you can use any, anywhere, codeanywhere.com. So I registered yesterday. That was quite easy. You just clicked on your Gmail account. You can do it with a Facebook account as well. There are some other accounts. So that was quite easy. Okay, so the file button here and new file, you could start. You can start a new file or new connection. You can connect with GitHub, Bitbucket, and all of these here. I'm with Google Drive. So you can connect with that. You can go and get a file or you could save onto it. I'm going to use Google Drive. It's the only one I'm with. I registered that yesterday. You have to verify on the email they send you. So Google Drive. Right, gives me those options, but I've already done it. So I'm delete away. And it's taken a while. Okay, over here, this left box, open files, connections. That's my Gmail. And that icon is the Google Drive. Okay, that's open. If I click that, it's back to that. Click open what's in it gifts one a zip folder i done the other day full of images that's something on my website is downloadable and down here parallax.zip and same type of things one's a web template and one's just a html code page zip because you have to zip to upload from your computer But you can't upload onto this because it's zipped. So it has to be once unzipped. Like I had I made this the other day. I called into and it was just a HTML page. So with code anywhere, you could take some code anywhere from online, save it here, and save it into your Google Drive if you if you so wanted. And I've done that yesterday. I'm gonna open it up. I give the HTML page a title of into. Right. Low nine. Just a HTML page. That's all it was. There's the dot type of start. You can save any code on here. It doesn't have to be scripting language. It could be Visual Basic or something. It could be anything. So there it is. And I'm on Google Drive. I'm also on Google, the browser I'm using. I'm going to go over to IE because I've got W3 schools opened. So I'm going to click on there. So let's say I wanted to save something. Something else interested me. I was in a library or a cafe, internet cafe, or was at work or whatever. And I wanted to save something. Something interested me. Probably wouldn't be from here. But it's the first thing I thought of. Okay. So um. Right. Ah, oh, I didn't want that. Right, I'm going to have to pause a minute, there's something that's come up on my computer. Okay, I'm on W3 Schools. There's like their own code editor here. Let's say I wanted this. It has an example of code for just some more tags. Var would be variable. SUP. Something like an italic or something too. Not so. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show you how you could 
copy and paste use code anywhere anywhere Pasting that in and quite easily save. One of those icons up here, there's two save and save as. So if I just save back into into, that's an unzipped one, it's the only unzipped one there. So code anywhere could be handy for using with um, Google Drive. You see something you like, some code somewhere, code pen, WG schools, or anything like it, and and you can save it and save it into your Google Drive. I'll go to, I'll show you. I'll pause for a second. We'll go to Google Drive and I'll show you where it's stored, and you can go home and have a look at that and use it on your. Okay, I'm on my Google Drive account cloud software and there it is into file unzipped as you can see those are zipped I had to to upload them and to make them downloadable they're for my site this here is just a, a demo from code anywhere I suppose it could come in handy you're somewhere other than your home you want to save something you could use that and quite easily save something on your Google Drive. I suppose it could come in handy. But there you go, there's a way of doing it, saving.